I'm Jeff Nygaard, three-time Olympian, twice for the indoor, once for the beach. Uh, MVP of the AVP in 2003, two-time NCAA Player of the Year for the UCLA Bruins, as well as a two-time, what is it, NCAA champion, 93 and 95. Today's pro tip, we're going to talk about the jump float serve, which is going to be very similar to, actually it's going to be a hybrid, let's call it a hybrid, where it's not a jump serve where you have overhand topspin, and it's not a float serve where you're standing at the line being stagnant and picking your spot. This is a much more aggressive serve, depending on how you want to serve. And what you're going to do, and I, you know, different ways to do it, of course, and it all depends on your personal style, but there's some similarities that need to be um, pretty much on everybody's serve. Number one is the toss, which is the most important part. If you toss it too far behind you, you're going to be just punching the ball straight up, and that's not exactly a challenging serve. If you toss it too far in front of you, all of a sudden you're reaching and hitting the ball out here, which is too far in front of you to even get the ball over the net. And again, if you toss it off to the side here, you're hitting it here, which is an awkward angle over here, also awkward. So ideally, what you want to try to do is control things such that if I'm approaching in this plane on this line, I want to toss the ball exactly on that line such that's in front of my shoulder, my dominant hitting shoulder. For me, I'm right-handed, so I'd toss the ball in front of my right shoulder and then hit the ball into that true plane that I had just, I was looking for that passer over there or I'm looking for that seam or I'm looking for that line and I hit it along that line. Jump float can be as aggressive as you want it to be depending on how much you can control it. There's a number of players on the AVP Tour who like to do the jump float where they toss it right, in, right on top of their head and just punch it but they're bringing it short such that it's an up and down play. Short distance so it's a little faster but when you know it's coming it's easy to pass. But for me, I'm six foot eight. What I'd like to do is I'm trying to take my float serve which I would be up here floating and reaching probably eight foot, so I'm just above the level of tape or right at the level of tape, but I'm adding the jump to it with the jump float, which means that all of a sudden I'm contacting the ball at nine and a half feet, maybe 10 feet, and instead of the ball traveling on this trajectory for a normal float serve and then dropping down, all of a sudden I'm taking it from up here and hitting down at the feet. And if you can get that trajectory, that's a very nasty serve to have to pass consistently. So I'm not tossing it too high. I'm not tossing it too low. The toss has to be such that you can extend and hit the ball at a high contact point. Now where the contact point is, is dependent on what you want to serve. If you want to do a short one that has an up and down arc just over the net, you need to make sure that that's up here. You can see up here. That way you can punch the ball up, it goes up and drops down. But if you want to be aggressive and you're attacking the back line, all of a sudden you should be contacting the ball here, out in front of you, such that the ball is flying straight through, catching somebody high and dropping deep. So what's going to look like, I'm going to take two steps, toss the ball in front of me, take an aggressive swing trying to hit the deep back line. Let me do that again. Now as you can see on that serve, <clears throat> because it has a lot of float, because it's dancing in the air, it makes it a, a path that's hard to make sure you're consistently passing. And that's the idea. You're trying to be aggressive. You're trying to catch somebody up high, put them at a disadvantage on the pass. Another thing is because I am at a higher point than if I was just standing here, different angles are being used such that the passer has to stay low and if they pop up at all, it's going to catch them high, put them in a real bad place. That's good for my side. I score points that way. A little bit of strategy. If I'm doing a jump float and I go middle to middle, I'm attacking the hubby wife zone. Now, a good thing about serving is the first couple times you do something, they're probably not going to be expecting it, they're not going to be comfortable with it, and I might score some easy points, especially if I'm doing something that's aggressive. But eventually they're going to get used to it. So what you do 
is you view vary what you're doing. Say I'm here and I serve middle to middle or down the line, down the line, something like that. If I take that same serve from here and I serve to the middle, this is a fantastic strategy because now all of a sudden the middle to middle, which made them both kind of aware of what's going on, now I'm going to where I'm serving through one person's zone into the other zone. That puts a whole different spin on whose ball it is and puts them at a disadvantage. And once you've scored a couple points this way, and once they've gotten comfortable, mix it up, come back over to this side. Now I'm going from this zone into that zone. So where if I'm aggressive, I take a couple steps, toss in front, hit the ball with a little bit of pace, such that the ball dances and it drops on the back line. Let me do that one more time. Let's focus on the feet for just a second too, just so we're all on the same page with that. What we're using on this is just the simple step close, which is when you're making an attack, you come in, last two steps this way, step close. My right left sequence for a right handed hitter. So on this, I'm just using a modified version of an approach for an attack. So I'm coming in, step close, hitting the ball to high contact point, making sure that toss again, right in that line, in front of me, in front of this shoulder. There's the jump float. Hope that works for you, hope that helps. And uh, if I ever have to play you, don't use it against me. Have a good one.